Hi, my name is Chris. Welcome to the Beam Corner channel. Some time ago in Grasshopper Tips and Tricks series, I have presented my personal list of 8 favorite grasshopper shortcuts, 5 tricks to defeat spaghetti monster, and 5 tips to better collaboration. Links to this you can find in the description below. Today is the time for a new episode. I will share with you tricks on how to be quicker in Grasshopper. For that, we will use a pop-up shortcuts. If you haven't heard about them or want to know more, you need to check out this video. You can find the list of shortcuts at learngrasshopper.com. Please find the links in the description below. Stay with me until the very end of this video if you don't want to miss one especially awesome tip. Enjoy! Let's start with the first pop-up shortcuts. Everybody knows Scribble. Scribble is a component that allows you to write your text on your canvas. But you don't have to choose Scribble component from the ribbon list. Entire content will be placed in a Scribble object when writing after tilde. Double click on the canvas, press tilde and then write your text. Second one is used by all of the users. Two forward slashes or a double quote will generate a text panel. Double click on your canvas, put two slashes and start writing your text. Text will be placed automatically in the panel and size will be adjusted. Slider pop-ups are not so complicated. If the format can be evaluated as a single numeric value, then a slider will be created with the specified initial value. In pop-up formats, we can also define the limit of the slider. Two numerics separated by a smaller than symbol or by two dots will create a slider with the specified limits. The initial slider value will be equal to the lower limit. You can define slider by three numerics. First one will define the lower limit last one will define the highest limit, the initial slider value will be the value in the middle. Adding to one of the numbers some digits after the dot will define the precision of the whole slider. We go to the next one. Two or three numerics separated by a forward slashes will create a calendar object. The order of the value is month, day and the year. If year is omitted, then a current year is used. Note that a second slash is required because number slash number is interpreted as a mathematical operation and thus results in slider. Ok, so we have the date on our calendar, now we need time on our clock. If the format contains at least two numerics separated by the colon, a clock object is created. Seconds are an optional here and not needed to write. And it's not necessary to define if it's before noon or after the noon. If the format contains two or three numerics separated by the commas, a point from the primitive list will be created with the specified coordinates. Typing just two digits after the commas will create point on the x-plane with the z-coordinate equals zero. Placing two between two integers creates a domain from first defined decimals to the second one. And as you can see in this example, the panel works perfectly as a domain. And of course all mathematical components. Plus creates an addition component, minus will create a subtraction component. Asterisks create a multiplication. One forward slash create a division uh, component. A backward slash will create an integer division component. The percent symbol creates a modulus. If the format contains the text P with an optional multiplication factor, then a P component will be created. 
the ampersand creates a concatenation component, which connects different texts. The equal symbol creates an equality component. And for sure, as you can know, a smaller than and larger than symbols creates components accordingly. This list was just a drop in the ocean of pop-up shortcuts. The rest you can define by yourself. Find component in your ribbon list, right-click on that and define component alias. That means that you need to write some letters that will define the pop-up shortcut. You can do that with all components and save your precious time. This was a list of pop-up shortcuts in Grasshopper. I'm pretty sure that you will find some which you didn't know before. Go to the link in the description below to download the entire list of shortcuts. Print out and hang out over your desk to be even faster when working with Grasshopper. If you like this video and want to see more of Grasshopper tips and tricks series, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Have a good one.